Yo, what is up, everybody? Welcome back for another episode of the Bean Dip Podcast. We are back, we're here, we're queer, and we're going all the fucking way. Uh, shit, dude. Fucking, my schedule has been jam fucking packed, yo. Like, I've been forgetting what I have the next day, or... Like, I don't even know if I have a show to, on, on Sunday or this. I think I have something on this Sunday, but I'm not even sure. <sighs> let me actually, let me double check for you guys right now, you know, um, and to be honest, I hope the guy that booked me for this show doesn't hear this and it's not his show. It's this other guy's show that I don't like doing. I just won't even say their names, but I do have a show. Let me see. Um, yeah, is it, it's the 19th. <sighs> I don't even know if I could do the 19th. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know, yo. It's it's a show. I do. There's a show on, in February, but I, uh, I've done this dude's um, shows before, and they're just whatever, man. They're 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 too long. You know, it's going on from like three to six thirty. You know, and it's like, bro, I'm not gonna. I'm not showing up till like, who knows? Maybe five five forty five. I'm not going to wait fucking two hours just to do five minutes. But I do have a show. I know I'm, I sound a little bit <laughs> fucked up about it, but dude, uh, uh, you know, after a while, you, you start to find out what these, some of these spots are all about, you know. But yeah, uh, I'll post it up. Just check, uh, see what's up with my Instagram, you know, always and forever and all that bullshit. Um some cool ass news. I, I, uh, I downloaded this app to help me start creating my flyers. And so far, whatever I'm making right now is pretty cool. It's actually kind of fun. Um, I don't want to tell you guys exactly what it is, but I, I will be creating that Instagram page for the shows. Um, in about a week, right? Because the first open mic is going to be on the 20th of March. And, um, You know, I think a month, a cool month is like good enough to uh, promote, you know, like, I mean, I could do it right now, but I, I, w I would rather just wait that solid month and, uh, you know, I'll, I'll put the, I'll put the link, I, I'm, I'm always going to put the link in these episodes, all the episodes, the link to the, the profile and whatever shows are going to come up will always be in this description. So just you guys look out for it. It'll be called Last Resort Comedy. Um, hell yeah. And it's going to be sick, man. It's going to be super cool. Uh, hope you guys all are doing great. Hope you guys had a dope week, weekend. We're at the end of the week again. Um, you know, LeBron recently, he... Uh, he recently passed Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in all-time scoring, the NBA all-time scoring list. He's now the number one guy with the most points ever in basketball history. And, you know, that's, that's amazing, especially for a dude who's not known for his, like, being a, a quote-unquote scorer. You know what I mean? Like a, like a Kobe Bryant or a Michael Jordan or... Uh, for some of the younger people, James Harden, right? He does put up points, but originally LeBron was, like, he would still average, you know, over 20 points, you know, even 30. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Would people call Tim Duncan a scorer? Like, he would put up points too, but he was more like an all-around play, uh, player. Sometimes these guys are, like, so great, they can just score that much, that amount of points, you know, like regardless. So that's what I'm trying to say about LeBron. Like he was never known as just this, this scoring machine, but he was still able to, dude, he's number one, bro. That's number, I don't know who's going to pass him. You know, most of the guys that are in the top 10 are like from 40 years ago, 20 years ago. You know, it's it's going to be a while before I think somebody, you know what? I say Luca. I think by the end of Luca's career, 
I think this dude might be in top 10 in scoring. I could see that. This dude's fucking beast. Anyway, I don't want to I don't want to get off the LeBron thing. Um uh yeah, dude, super sick. It's cool that he did it as a Laker. You know what I mean? That's just another that's just like another highlight for the Lakers organization. You know what I mean? All these fucking these beasts, these fucking legends under the Lakers, not the Clippers. Fuck the Clippers, the Lakers. Sorry, Clipper fans. I hope you guys don't unfollow me or stop listening to my page. I I, I love you guys. Clipper fans, I love you guys. You know, but uh, you guys were nicer when we were, you know, when you weren't so good. Now you guys think you're top shit because you beat the Lakers more these days. Win a championship and then we'll talk. Anyway, uh. But yeah, the, 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 that same game, it was weird. Because, so I didn't see the game. I saw the highlights. And, but when uh, Le- LeBron James, I think he passed the all-time scoring list. He became number one when there, it was third quarter and there was 10 seconds left. Now, I don't know if this has ever happened in any other game, but the game stopped. It was the third quarter. There was, t- there was 10 seconds left. I think he did like a fadeaway. A fadeaway jumper or something. Got the point. And then the game just stopped. And people came on the court. were congratulating him. And I thought that was strange. Okay? Because it was like... From... Look, I'm not, I'm not that old, right? Like, I've been watching basketball probably for like 20 years. Uh, and I don't remember that ever happening. Where... I mean, but then again, I, who... There's not a lot of people that, you know, got the number one all-time scoring, right? I don't, obviously nobody. I've never, <coughs> I've never seen anybody do it. But um, it was a little strange. I thought it was, a, I thought it would be something that you do either at the end of the quarter when it's done or at the end of the game. But whatever. I think one of the, the other thing about it is like the Lakers were losing, right? I think they were down like 10 points maybe like at the at the time and it's just a strange vibe right because you're you're losing and then all of a sudden it's just about LeBron right like it's hard I, I think as the players yeah you're like happy for the dude like yeah that's amazing but like how do you get your head out of the, the out of the game you know what I mean how are you just like yeah we're losing I don't know I obviously people could do it's called multitasking right you can multitask you know but I just thought it was like such a weird thing I think they ended up catching Anthony Davis on the sideline like sitting down while everybody was standing up and they're trying to be like oh he's hating and stuff like that you know he's not clapping he doesn't seem enthused but, like, my head is where his head is at. I, I think where he, his head is like, all right, cool, yeah, that's what's up. But we're losing. You know what I mean? Everybody is, like, I, I, th- I think everybody was playing. LeBron, Russell Westbrook, Anthony Davis. I, I think everybody was playing. And they were losing to, who the f- they played OKC. And I feel like that whole vibe, like, of just, like, in the middle of the game kind of made it where like it didn't matter that they lost to Kansas or to Oklahoma, you know, the Oklahoma Thunder. It was just like what the fuck? I don't know. It it was just like yeah, we lost, but hey, LeBron, he's he's the shit, you know, so it's all good. And then we end up losing the game after too. We we lose to Mo, uh, Milwaukee last night. You know, so, but but then again, LeBron didn't play. Um, Anthony Davis played. But he ended up sitting the rest of the fourth quarter, though. Because, um, like, some dude hit his hip. That dude's so fucking fragile, bro. But, I don't know, man. It, Lakers are in such a weird zone right now, you know, because it's it's LeBron's last year. He's he's passing records. Like not only did he become the number one in, in scoring all time, but I know he moved up in passing as well. I think he's probably like third right now or some shit like that, fifth or something. 
you know? So Homeboy's doing crazy big things, you know? And at the same time, like, Lakers are in this, like, like zone of mediocre basketball, right? They're not playing, like, championship or one of the great teams, you know, going into the into the playoffs, I think some people are saying, yeah, like Lakers are, are a team to be feared. But to me, I don't know. You know what I mean? They seem to me like a sixth seed playoff team. Um, and even then, it's already past the All-Star break. And wait, are we past the All-Star break? Or has it even begun yet? I don't think it's even begun yet, but we're we're around the same uh, uh, same time. I think we did. Pass. I don't. Even, I don't even fucking know, bro. But and they're still in third. They're the thirteenth seed. We're not even in the playoffs. What, some people are saying they're gonna make they. Uh, they're gonna have to do the play in where you got basically uh, play like a sudden death match against another team, and whoever wins or loses goes makes it to the playoffs so if lakers have to do that i i think they're fucked they're too old anthony davis is limited homeboy's fucking limited dude and you have to like just when he's playing everybody's walking on eggshells because you don't know when he's gonna get hurt it could be something totally random um, Russell Westbrook is gone. Every you know, Lakers tr- just traded for D'Angelo Russell. Um, I don't know, man. They're saying the Lakers did great. They did actually, you know, Lakers traded for Mo, Mo Bamba. I know some of you people who are not sports fans. You're like, what the fuck is this asshole? He, they probably changed the channel already. They're like, you know, this episode sucks. <laughs> you know, I'd rather him talk about sucking dick than basketball. You know. But I don't know. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little enthused about the Lakers going forward. But I don't know what I feel about them this year. Like as as to how far they're gonna get. You know. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's just it's it's weird, dude. I don't know who I even got my money on this year for the for the finals. People still have uh, Boston going after it all. Durant just went to the Phoenix Suns, but I, dude, the thing about Kevin Durant, when you trade for somebody like that, as big as he is, dude, your team is going to get gutted. When, when you're that big of a player and you're trying to be shopped around in the NBA, like, dude, you're never going to have the greatest deal. Yeah, you dipped and went to another spot and you could say, yeah, I'm going to help them win a championship. But you lost like a good portion of your depth. Uh-oh, neighbor. Oh, neighbors are here. Hold on. Yeah. Oh, sorry for the interruption, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Fucking uh, a delivery came. Uh, somebody did some secret shopping. <laughs> and we are about to get the reveal. Marlene got a... A package. Is it, you said it's shoes? Shoes. Ah, oh, they might be too big. Oh my god. <laughs> They're like these platform chanclas? What do you call slides? Uh, wedges. What, what, wedges? Come on, mate. Oh my goodness. Those are. They're cute. They're cute. They're a size four and a half, dude. I've never bought in anything smaller than a five. Oh my goodness. This is unheard of. Dude, she is the queen of chanclas and wedges. Anything, any Wait for it. Wait any for it. shoe wear that re- shows this. your toes, she wears them. Or sliding. Oh nice. You got something, but the the material is still thin where it's, it's like it's like lace material. Yeah. Thank goodness. Get some regular <laughs> pair of fucking shoes. What do you think? Yeah, those are cool. They're cool, right? Yeah. You can't really tell they're lace material and they fit me a little bit big. But they're all good. You she wears lazy people shoes. Ah uh, 
her 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 shoes are just like you just slide your feet into them like there's shoelaces on the shoes her other pair right now but they're not even necessary <laughs> they're just a look the shoelaces are just a design mm -hmm. do you like them yeah they're cool i think for both of them i paid like 30 bucks Oh, nice. That's very chill. Really? Yeah, that's cool. I need to buy some new shoes. I know, darling. Yeah. Ah. But yeah, man. Fucking Lakers, dude. I, I'm, I'm excited because there is a part of me that hopes. And, dude, honestly, there. I don't know. Mavericks also got Kyrie Irving. To me, I think that's that's the finals team to beat. That's the team to beat in the West. I know Durant went to, to the Suns, but, bro, that team's going to suck ass, dude. Trust. They have Durant, Kevin Booker, and DeAndre Ayton, and that is fucking it. The rest of the – TJ Warren, bro, that guy had – If I'm, I'm probably mistaken, too, but I isn't he the guy that had – he was, like, the best player in the bubble? Like, with the, the time when nobody was really trying to play – I mean, no, it's okay. So I'm just, I'm just trying to say that, like, I, I think that team is gonna be, uh, they're, they're being a little bit too hyped right now, only because of Durant, dude. But Durant is, he's that, he's that kind of player where he could just fit in in any system. But still, bro, trust those guys are gonna have to be playing like 40 minutes each. It's gonna be crazy. But I, I, I got my money on the Mavericks going all the way. I think Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving will fucking, they're going to get it done. Luka's already a fucking beast. And then once he has Kyrie just like killing it for him to just, you know, close out some of these games actually and, and possibly, because Luka's a closer too. You know, they're both, they're both closers. It's going to be it's going to be crazy. And I think, I think Kyrie Irving is going to, he's going to mesh well with Luca. So my money's on them going all the way. Uh, it could be Mavericks versus Celtics this year. Anybody wants to make a bet? Comment me. <laughs> um, but yeah, man. I know you guys, I already mentioned it to you guys, uh, to an episode, um, before, that my car got jacked. It was stolen from just tires right next to Haha's. Ha um, we did make like a police report, you know, and all that. So now it's just playing the waiting game. Um, but because all that sh that shit happened, I think I'm gonna end up having to, you know, leave Haha's. Ha um, I do work at Haha's ha uh, Comedy Cafe. For those of you that don't know. Um, in Hollywood, um, I bartend and recently I've been helping them with cooking too. Um, but I, I, it's too far for me. I'm all the way in Pico Rivera. Um, that's from Pico Rivera to Hollywood. That's a 45 minute drive. Okay. Without the car, me having to take public transportation, it's, it's about a, almost a two it's a little over two hours, okay, just to get from my place to work. And then on top of that, I don't get out till like midnight. So there's no way I can take a, a bus and train back home. I have to Uber, which is a $45 trip. It's too crazy, dude. My so like my my original plan was, you know, to network with people and to get a uh, stage time. But Dude, I'm losing money just to work there, you know, because it's not like I'm getting paid bank. You know what I mean? Like it's it's not like the money I make there is, you know, pulling me out of debt. It's like at this point with the car gone, it's actually putting me more into debt. Um, so I'm going to have to dip and I was... I was thinking, which I'm sad about, you know, because I, I love working there. The people are great, you know what I mean? And I, I feel like I'm starting to actually build some kind of like 
repertoire. I don't even like using big words like that. You know what I mean? But with the other comedians, you know what I mean? Um, so it is a little sad, but I, I, it's gotta be done, dude. I can't be fucking traveling like that long just to make 50 bucks or whatever, you know? Um, so my, my, my plan and, you know, hear me out is to be an Uber driver. I don't know if you guys can see me here, your glorious and honorable host of the best podcast in the world but not only will i be that i will also be your uber driver um i'll put the link so you can <laughs> just get <kidding>. favorite driver <laughs> yeah so you can request me specifically um i'm going to have to man just because at this point I don't think there I can't waste any time trying to look for a job. You know, there's places that sometimes they wait like 2 weeks to hit you up, you know? And Oh yeah, and they might not like it's it's all about their shit, so. Yeah, I'm yeah, man. I'm going to be in but the here here's the upside to me being an Uber driver. I'm going to drive a Tesla. A Tesla, a Tesla. I'm gonna drive a Tesla, as Stephen A. Smith would probably say. I'm getting myself a Tesla. Stephen A. Steve, the sports broadcaster guy. The one that's always loud and fucking yeah. Um. That was a bad Stephen A. <laughs> Smith impression. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, I, I, that's what, that's, you know, fuck all the money. I just want the Tesla, to be honest. <laughs> you know, I, I want to be sleeping and driving at the same time, you know, the, no. But we were talking to some Uber guy and he was basically showing us what it's like for the car to be driving on its own. Yeah, on the freeway. Yeah, and like he even took his hands off the wheel and even turned back, backwards to face us for a, you know, a few seconds. Like in, if any other car, that would not be cool, you know? But the the sensors on the car, since it, it can read, it can see the lines on the street, it na that helps navigate the car. So it won't move the steering wheel. Um. But yeah, man, I, th I think it's just going to be cool as fuck. And I think at least with Uber, you know, I can probably go do, I could do, go do some, some, like hit some mics and then while I'm out there work and just do stuff and all that kind of shit, you know, the Uber shit is going to be crazy, dude, because I'm going to be like picking up drunks, uh, somebody's grandma, you know, and and probably unemployed people trying to hook up. You know what I mean? Like they don't have a job or a car, but they still got some some booty on the side, so they need an Uber. You know? I'm going to need one of those cameras, dude, because I don't trust anybody, dude. Like, I'm going to need a camera inside my car. That's how crazy the world is uh the world is these days right we thought we needed home security but now you need automobile security the some of the stories that i heard like uh these these uber drivers tell me where like you know people will try to be shady and do do sh certain shit where it's like oh they'll they'll cancel the trip and then and then try or try to make a complaint about a, a driver just so they don't have to pay. And then, you know, it sucks because sometimes Uber drivers, bro, that you can lose your job that way, you know? So fuck that, bro. I'm hitting up fucking, what's his name? Elon Musk. <laughs> okay. And I'm telling him to fucking implant a camera in the back of my fucking head. 
so I can capture you motherfuckers trying to do shady shit while I'm blasting my Spotify playlist. Here I'm letting you charge your fucking phone in my fucking car and then you're going to give me one star. Hell no, buddy. And I'm driving a Tesla. Just for driving a Tesla, you should give me four stars automatically. Five. Five. No. Five is... If you get if you give me five stars, that's because you like my... Part of my part of the... The four, because I'm driving a Tesla. It's a Tesla. And then you get it's, it's, it's like being in a ride or like a... I'm sorry, dude. Give me four stars just for being in a Tesla. If somebody picks you up in their fucking shitty fucking Prius, you know, yeah, they deserve the full, you know, cr critique of your s star usage. What? You got, you're picking me up in a shitty Prius that smells like the cigarettes you smoke in air freshener? I'm good. I'm good. I'm not, dude, how many drivers are like that where, like, you go in their car and it smells like they just smoked a cigarette? And, then, like, they let it air out and sprayed all this kind of bullshit in their car. And look, here's this. I'm a driver who won't talk to you. How do you like that? I'm a driver who will not... I won't even acknowledge you're there. And, you know, when, except when you get in the car, hi, you're this person, cool. And then that's it. And I'm, it's like you're not even there. I might even spark up a joint. And then you'll be like, hey, and I'll be like, oh, fuck. I forgot you were here. That's how, that's how much I'll leave you alone. Hell yeah, dude. But I don't know. I'm looking forward to it. You know what I mean? I think it'll be cool. It'll... It'll work with the schedule, yo. You know what I mean? Fuck. The way it is right now. One more month till my own fucking show starts. Right? So, it's got... Dude, this guy was telling me... He was he was saying sometimes he makes like 8000 a month doing Uber. That shit's wild to me, yo. That shit's wild. 8000 a month? I mean, mind you, I'm he's working like 10 hour days but bro i remember i had this fucking shitty cooking job and i would work like 11 hour shifts and i was working six days a week and i would i would barely make over 2500 a month so it's like this guy's working 10 hours and he's making eight g's a month bro 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 I'll do stand-up comedy in my car for you guys. I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? We'll, we'll do sit-down comedy or like Uber comedy. You know what I mean? I don't know, man. I, yeah, I, I just, yeah, it's just, it has to be done, dude, because I tried doing the side hustle thing on Craigslist. That shit's hard. Okay, you got to be... You know what the hustle is on be being a Craigslist hustler? You got to you got to hustle to look. Because most of the time the hustle is not even that much of a hustle. It's chill. It's chill work. But the hustle is looking for the hustle. And I don't know if I want to hustle like that. You know what I mean? At least with the, the driving shit, at least I'm driving and I can like, you know, see what I've done, how much I'm making, what it's actually, you know, amounting to. Like, what if, what if, what if I walk a dog from a Craigslist, like, job and they give me a hundred bucks, 150? How, when am I going to see that next dog watching or dog walking job? I don't know. Uber is, it is what it is, you know, like all the, 
It's what all the people who smoke weed and can't get a regular job are doing now. You know, since everybody's drug testing and all this, we're either going to be servers or Uber drivers. You pick or I'll pick. You know what I mean? Yeah, dude. So I I think I might do that in a couple of days, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes, dude. Um, I was thinking today that uh, I don't think it'd be a good idea if I did crack and became a crackhead because I think I would be a better person than I am now on crack because I would be super functional. You know, I'd, I'd wake up, brush my teeth, wash my face, hit my crack, and then, dude, who knows what the fuck I'm doing? I, I, maybe I fucking, maybe I built another room for our, our house. Recently, I drank a fucking bang. That's not even crack. That's an energy drink. And I rearranged the home. That's why I can't be a crackhead. Because when I drink an energy drink, I already love myself after that. I'm, I'm full of energy, vigor, and, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. So imagine if I'm a crackhead, bro. Like, I might be sucking dick for crack, but I'm lo- doing it for love, you know? Like, ugh, to better myself. You know, but I don't want to go down that road. So that's why I just stick with the energy drinks, you know? And then once I drink an energy drink, hey, I'll vacuum. You know, that's cool, right? Like, I don't have to fucking bust no mission to get, like, a car part ride it back on my bicycle and then put it into the car that I, I don't know. I've done meth before. Not, not continuously where it was like day after day or whatever, or not even month after it was like once a year or something. And it was like three times. Um, And I got to tell you, dude, I can't even begin to understand how people just become addicted to that drug. Because to me, it's exhausting. It's fucking exhausting, bro. The one time I did it, the first time I did it, I, I think I, I think I, I forgot how I did it, whatever. But I did it. And yeah, I was up for the whole night and everything. But when I was coming down, I don't know if I snorted it or if I smoked it or what. I'm, I probably snorted it, but um, the come down. Look, the come down is just nasty, dude. You feel depressed, you feel anxious, you know, like you're just not right for some reason. And that's where I think where I I feel like people are like, you know what? I can't do this. I'm just gonna do more of it because the feeling is so down and shitty. You know, that that's why I tripped out. I was like, dude, how the fuck do people do this? Because if you're broke and then you have no more crack, you're fucked. You're going to go down that fucking, that shitty toilet drain that is the come down. You know? Fuck it, dude. Hit up... Hit up the synthetic legal crack. Energy drinks. Fuck it, dude. It doesn't last as long, but it 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 still makes you sweat a little bit. You know what I mean? It's your eyes don't get dilated, but I mean you still get jittery, I guess. <laughs> I don't know, man. Shout out to Bang. That's that. That's my um, energy energy drink of choice. There's like no sugar in it. I think that's the only reason why I get it. The only thing about like energy drinks is you crash so dirty afterwards. Like you just get like, 
And see, even then, like, since it's legal crack, the come down is legal too. You know, it's not as harsh. It's just like, oh, I'm tired. It's the it's the legal come down. You know. But yeah, Marlene Shaw shall always be like, you can't be drinking those. You just da da da. You know, always telling me something, but. Dude, I've been smoking weed for <laughs> over 15 years. My brain is in automatic chill mode. I'm my psychosis is relaxing, okay? My psych my the the weed psychosis that is in my brain is telling me to chill constantly. I can only pump myself up so much until I want to smoke more weed again. Okay. It's a vicious cycle of being a pothead. That's why sometimes it's like, you know what? I need to feel like a crackhead. I need to lift this refrigerator. I'm going to go get a bang, you know? Yeah. So. You know, don't don't hate the don't hate the player, dude. Or don't don't hate the energy drink. You know, hate, hate the game. I think I'm gonna scratch these these scratchers right now. We have four scratchers. We've been having these scratchers, I think, though. Since Christmas. Yeah, long time. We have electric eights. Papel picado. Tic Tac Bonus, and the Adams Family Fortune. Uh, let me see. So, reveal 13 eights and you win 20,000. If you roll 12 eights, 1,000. 11 eights is 500. 13, how many squares are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 10, 15. There's 15 eights. Holy shit. I would have, I would love to see the ticket that. <laughs> My God, it's ridiculous. Can you, oh no, never mind. I have the, all right, we are scratching the first scratcher. All the eights, the first square. No eight. It is a key. Second square is a eight. That's one eight. That is one eight, ladies and gentlemen. We need two more eights just to get a ticket. Third square is a wishbone. That's useful. All right, fourth. Dude, the, when you scratch these things, it gives me the chills. Uh. Because it's like, you know, like what they do on like where they scratch a chalkboard and it's like that. It gives me that sense. We got another eight. Two eights. No, no. We need one more eight for a ticket. And three eights. That's a ticket, ladies and gentlemen. That is a ticket. All right. One, two. Three. So that's number six square. We have a ring. Amazing. Seventh is a rainbow, even better. Eighth is a coin, cool. Damn, they fucked us so dirty. The whole row is nothing but images. It's like images of different religions. Yeah, yeah the ring. Uh, let's just say Lord of the Rings is religion. The rainbow is a uh, LGBTQ. That's a religion, I think. Uh, coins are Christianity. It's the only way they are stay alive these days. Uh, stars. That might be Scientology. And the moon. Let's just say that's Buddhism. Muslims. I don't know. The sign. I don't know. The astrology. Oh, astrology? Is that a religion? Yeah, that's a religion. Astrology. 
Last rose, a heart. A heart. Then pot of gold. So we just get a free ticket, I'm assuming. Yep. But okay, that's something. It's nothing. You know what's so funny about these tickets? Like scratching them is actually a waste of time because as soon as you buy them, you can take them to this machine that tells you if they're a winner or not. Yeah. Okay, see back. So this one you could win up to 30,000. Uh, scratch off the entire play area to reveal 12 symbols. Uncover some saw blade looking thing to automatically win that prize. Uncover a two times symbol to automatically win double that prize. Uncover a five times symbol. Uncover a guitar symbol. Huh. 12 symbols. Interesting. So. Um, I honestly don't even know what I'm. Butterfly, lemon. Art, bell, banana. I think I'm looking for like a saw blade and a guitar. I don't know what any of this is. This is just random. It's a lemon. It's all right. This, uh, it's this one and then one more and then. That will be it. I think this one is a total loser. It's not our fault, ladies and gentlemen. This card is just a loser. Uh, like, the movie. like the movie. Shout out to classic horror film or a horror movie, whatever it's called. That was pretty good. Some Italian scary movie on Netflix. Loser. That one is a loser. Okay, well, I'll just do one more. We'll just do the Adams Family one, because we're spending a lot of time on this. Um, okay, match any of your numbers to either the winning numbers when that prize and cover. Okay, so winning numbers on the top, top one is 37, and on the bottom is 32. Okay. Nope. Wow, 36. 11. 30. 31. Nope. Nope. Okay. A bunch of loser cards, ladies and gentlemen, but we tried. Give a round of applause for the ticket scratching section of this show we did win <laughs> we did win one ticket from the electric eights shout out to electric eights it was a two dollar ticket um but yeah uh shit everybody i think that is today's episode uh thank you guys for joining me once again and sharing this moment of scratching tickets with me and being hyped about drinking energy drinks uh, uh yeah i look look i'm so lost with my schedule right now um just you know check out i, I like i there's a show coming up on sunday i'll post it up on my instagram um i don't i don't think you're going to need to buy tickets there's no link to buy tickets so uh hell yeah all right everybody love you guys catch you next time peace